Hey YouTubers, I know it's been about a week or so since I last logged on and posted, so I thought I'd come on tonight and talk a little bit about an ongoing controversy that's going on in Ocean County. Um, for those of you that are unaware, sitting Assemblyman um, Brian Rumpf um, from Ocean County has been criticized by his Democratic critics and detractors for taking a full-time position paying $139,000 a year with the Ocean County Department of Health um, as a personnel um, as a personnel administrator. Now, what a lot of the critics on the other side don't understand is that while yes, it's a conflict of interest, it's a conflict of interest that virtually every single state legislature has engaged in. Um, New Jersey law does not prohibit state lawmakers, surprisingly enough, from holding other public jobs. The law does, however, prohibit them from holding a lo another elected position within the state. So, for instance, um, S Senator Nick Scutari from District 22, he is Lyndon's municipal prosecutor. For that, he makes an annual salary of $70,000. Um, Assemblyman Reed, Reed uh, Gusiora, he is municipal prosecutor for six or seven towns in Mercer County. Um, Senator Sacco, he's superintendent of schools for a Hudson County school district. Um, there are numerous others that hold part-time positions and full-time positions aside from their legislative duties. Years ago, there was an assemblyman called Dan Van Pelt, and Dan was um, Lumberton's uh, municipal administrator in Burlington County while he also sat as a state assemblyman. Now, what I do think is this. I do think that this controversy is shedding enough attention to the problem that in the next three to five years you can expect a state constitutional amendment that will in essence make the legislature full-time work. So legislators will no longer be collecting a $50,000 salary and having all of these conflicts of interest. They'll get paid one salary, just like state judges do, and be prohibited from collecting outside income. I think that's ultimately the direction that the state has to go in. Because if we keep down the route that we're going, it's only going to lead to bigger problems. And I think that, I hate to say it, but I think that the um, Brian Rumpf case is, is going to serve as both the scapegoat and the catalyst to bring the change that is needed for legislative conflicts of interest.